Flow diverter stents are put across the opening of the aneurysm inside of the blood vessel. So they're flush with the blood vessel wall and it bridges the opening of the aneurysm. What we've been using it for is the treatment of very large aneurysms on the carotid artery. It's the large vessel in the front part of the brain. And historically, these large aneurysms took very big surgical procedures to cure. These stents keep branches open to the brain. We deploy them through the groin. We're able to lay the stent down across the opening of the aneurysm. And even if we cover important vessels with that stent, those vessels will stay open and feed the normal brain. But the nice thing is the aneurysm shuts down over time. We've been one of the first centers using this clinically. It's a very good technology for treating a very difficult problem procedure usually in the morning and you, know, you hang out in the afternoon and eat and recover from the anesthesia because you are under full anesthesia for the procedure. Not because it hurts, just because we don't want you moving too much and the next morning you go home. The good thing about flow diverter, the benefit is in the recovery time. Some people do get some headaches after the procedure and a lot of the time that's related to the aneurysm clotting off. There's no real restriction of activities at all, mainly just no heavy lifting and that's mainly for the groin access. Just like with any stent that we put in the body, typically you have to be on antiplatelet medications and that includes an aspirin and Plavix. It's very important that we continue those medications. There's a lot of metal that we're putting in that artery and that can activate platelets. That can form blood clots and that can lead to stroke. The risks to treatment are much less than they were historically. When we used to do big open operations with bypasses and carotid sacrifice, those complications can be any with anesthesia. Anytime a blood clot can develop on the stent that can block an artery in the brain causing stroke. And the other thing is that there can be bleeding into the brain. Anytime we access the artery in the groin, there's a chance of a blood clot forming. The real advantage to this device is it allows us in a very safe, a very efficient, and very quick way to treat a once thought very complex problem.